106.7 WTLC Indies R&B Leader. This is Karen Vaughn, and we are so excited about tonight. Of course, we're celebrating Valentine's Day, the day of love. And whether you're with your boo or out with your girls or showing yourself self-love by going to the Soul to Soul Tour tonight, we are looking forward to seeing you and on the line to uh, chat with us about Valentine's Day and the Soul to Soul Tour with Let It See Music Soul Child and Kim is the one and only Kim. How are you? I'm oh, good, Karen. Happy Valentine's Day to you. How you doing? I'm doing good. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you. So you're preparing to hit the stage in Indianapolis. We're excited to see you. I can't wait to get there. You know, I can't remember the last time we were there, but uh, ain't no audience like an indie audience. So we're looking forward to uh, to seeing you all tonight. Yes, and we get to spend the night of love with you and all of your love songs and songs that just... You know, help us get in the mood or help us relax after a long day. So we are here for it. Well, thank you. Thank you. And of course, uh, Let It See and, uh, and Music Soul Child will be with me. So, uh, you know, it's, it is absolutely the perfect, the perfect date night, the, the perfect Valentine's date night. So what is the perfect date night for you, Kim? So if you were off on Valentine's Day and you were going out and about setting something up for that special someone in your life, what is the perfect date? Um, the perfect date for me and my wife would be, uh, it would start off with flowers early in the day and then probably to one of our favorite restaurants. If we're staying, you know, we got, we got, we got six kids between us, so we ain't out of town. We at, we at, we at home. <laughs> <laughs> we in town. But we yeah. get somebody to come over and watch the kids and go to one of our, uh, one of our favorite restaurants and, and really just have a, a, a quiet evening alone probably spend the night at one of our favorite hotels outside the city nice. and, uh, and just and just enjoy each other's company. You know, there are just so many opinions when it comes to Valentine's Day and celebrating love and the day of love. When you think of Valentine's Day and the day of love, are you one that, you know, Valentine's Day, we're just going to make it a big splash and have a great time? Or do you feel that, you know, Valentine's Day should be every day on the calendar? Both. You know, I think that we should celebrate we should celebrate our love all the time. I don't have to wait until Valentine's Day to get my wife flowers. She gets flowers throughout the year. Uh, but don't let Valentine's Day pass and I ain't done nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> right, right. So both both things are true, right? Both things are true. You celebrate your love every day. And uh and that but Valentine's Day is special too. What would you say to those that are that are looking for love or have a past love that they want to rekindle or reconnect with, but they just don't know how? How would you help a brother out? Huh. That's a good, that's a, that's an excellent question. I guess everything starts with communication and honesty and, and what comes from the heart speaks to the heart. You yes. know what I'm saying? So if, if this is, if that, if this is the person for you, if this is the love that has been designed for you, then you need to communicate that and, and, and step into it. Cause time these days we're living in a sacred, right? Ain't no time to waste what you waiting on. So, uh, love, love, and a lot, a lot of times we, we be, we be looking for love and love is looking for us, you know? So what you waiting on? No need to wait. Just like there's no need to wait to see you alongside Let Us See and Music Soul Child tonight at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. There's still a few tickets left. So if you're trying to rekindle the magic with someone, why not give them a call? Get your tickets and come on out to the Soul to Soul Tour with Kim Lettucey and Music Soul Child. Tickets are still available at the box office and Ticketmaster.com. And Kim, in 2023, you know, like you said, there's no need to wait. Are we going to receive new music from you? Working on new music. Uh, I have a new book coming, a memoir called Share My Life. That'll be out in April. We have a live album coming mm -hmm. um, this year. So, uh, you know, yeah, we got new music coming for you. Oh, a live album. Where are you taping that? We recorded it in uh, in Detroit this past summer. Oh, so back beautiful. Detroit, we spent... We spent two nights at the, at the Aretha and recorded it. Just got finished mastering it. So it's at the lay in the label's hands right now. And uh, it's exciting. You know, Kim, this is my 20 years, 20th, the 20th anniversary of the Chemistry album. You know, so, so this is a really significant milestone for us. Mm. So, again, the book. Share my life in the spring, the live album in the spring. So you can, uh, you guys can uh, reach out to me at Music by Kim on all social media platforms, and, and I'll be glad to hear from you. Oh, I can't wait. I, there's nothing that I love better than a live album. 
I'm telling you. There you go. From the yeah. from the there live Earth, Wind and Fire, the live Jill Scott, Frankie Beverly and Mays, Johnny Gill had a couple of songs that were released live. I think it was My 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 and Quiet Time to Play. So I love right. live versions. So I cannot wait to uh, experience that nostalgia with you with your live album. Yeah, well, thank you. We're looking forward to it, too. What was the hardest part about writing your memoir? Um, the hardest part was going back and reliving a lot of the things that, you know, I thought that I had processed and now I see in a different light. It was also difficult because I'm, you know, I'm talking about my family. I'm talking about the other, the other important people in my life. So I had to learn how to, I, had to, I want to tell my story. I'm not telling their story. So I'm mm. only telling enough of their business as it applies to me. <laughs> right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? You know, so it's a lot. It's a, uh, it's a very cathartic experience. Um, people are familiar with my story, but in the book, it's like I go down in there. So my hope is that I'm speaking someone's language and that the book is helpful to them. You know, we all have issues and, and, and darkness that we're coming through and overcoming. And, you know, and I know what that is. You know, so uh, so you've got a champion for your life, you know, and hopefully the book speaks to you and helps you get to the best version of yourself. Beautiful. In life, I always say there are no mistakes, only lessons. And there are plenty of lessons along the way, good, bad, and indifferent. And thank you for sharing your lessons with us. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Well, tonight, it's about you hitting the stage with Let It See and Music Soul Child. Can't wait uh, to see you hit the stage. Valentine's Day. It's going to be a special night in Indianapolis. And thank you for spending your Valentine's Day with us, Kim. You know, um, I've always been a huge fan and just always much success to you in everything that you do. Thank you, Karen. Thank you for making time for me today. And uh, may God continue to bless you and your family. And happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day.